today for your back to the beach workout, everyday hero workout number two. I'm over here in South Beach, Florida, checking out the beautiful weather and the wonderful people that I've met here today. All right, a couple things before our workout starts. Number one, if you want to have beautiful skin, make sure that you have your SPF on right now. I'm wearing 100 SPF all over my body. That's how I look like this at 31 years old. Number two, don't forget your everyday hero hydration. Make sure that you have some water next to you because the worst thing ever during a workout is to have cotton mouth, dry mouth while you're trying to do your workout. And number three, don't forget about your Bruce Lee breathing. We need to use all of the capacity of our lungs. We're usually only using about 30% of our lungs and actually if you breathe in, that oxygen will help you to fuel over your machine and you'll have a lot more fun doing your workout. All right, we're gonna get started with some stretches, breathing and relaxation. So I'm just gonna do three sets of the breathing. What you're gonna do is grab your hands like this, take the energy from the sun, pull down, pull in, and pull and breathe out. our balance and stretching exercises. This is kind of a wonderful little yoga pose I like to use because it stretches out here. Don't forget we're all everyday heroes. It's totally fine if you fall over. Remember the most important thing is that you try, try, and try again. I'm definitely not perfect and that's why I know you're watching this video because yo, we're just trying to do our thing, right? Okay. Flex your feet, 
pull your toes and breathe and do it again. All right, I know those stretches were a little bit short, but I'm trying to keep this video short and manageable for you so you can keep them going as long as you want. All right, so today we're going to be doing some low impact back and leg exercises to complement the low impact abs and arms that we did the other day. Make it fun for yourself. So this first thing that we're going to do is we're going to open into a plie like this. Take it down as far as you can. Now, it's really key to kind of distract yourself when you're doing your workout. So what we're gonna do right now is do this, and we're gonna work on our abs at the same time by turning our bodies and doing both exercises at the same time. So we're gonna go back and forth like this. Look straight ahead. Now, if you wanna give yourself a little bit more of a challenge, go ahead and twist and twist and twist, but it's a little harder to keep your balance. So remember the most important thing is you're doing a manageable workout that you can feel good about because everyday heroes are everyday people, right? <laughs> Actually make some fists and push in and create some tension for yourself in your arms. So now I'm doing this, I can pretty much only feel my abs and my arms right now. I'm distracting myself from my legs. <laughs> you can do to make it a more high impact workout. Um, you can actually spread your heels out farther, get deeper into that stretch and you're like, whoa, you can definitely feel that. And it works different parts of your legs. All right, so that's the... All right, next one guys is a chair position. You're just gonna put your feet shoulder length apart. Get into your chair and to distract yourself from your muscles burning, you're gonna kind of rock back and forth between your heels like this. Kind of like you're one of those football players who's like, yeah, get at me, get at me. So, kind of going back and forth like this. You wanna make sure that your knees are over your toes and not overextended. This is a good workout if you're um, really working on strengthening. So right now with that dislocated knee, I want to strengthen my muscles around my knee. So I'm working them right now, like this. One thing that you can do with your arms if you're like, well, I want to do something with my arms. Pull them out to your back like this and just do little curls like that. You can also put weights in your hand if you want to. But remember, the most important thing is that you get to the end of your everyday hero workout. Don't do anything that's not manageable and you don't feel good about. You can always add reps. Don't forget to breathe. Another thing you can do is you can pull forward like this and kind of work your back here. Can't think of the muscle name right now. <laughs> Sorry guys, look it up and let me know. <laughs> and remember this whole time that you're doing these, tighten up your stomach and have it working for you. So you're distracting yourself from your other muscles all working. And pretty much you're working everything. And that's just awesome, right? <laughs> Put your arms up and you can pull down like this if you want. Have fun with it. Do whatever you want. You can also get deeper into your stretch like this. Whoa. And you can go a little faster. I like pretending I'm a football player on this. It makes me feel tougher. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna work these. We're gonna pretend we're ballet, ballet. We're gonna work on our grace. So you're gonna put your arms out like this, and you're just gonna do these. 
You can move your arms if you want to. I'm actually going to bend my right leg a little bit because my knee is hurting. <laughs> I still want to work on strengthening the muscles around that knee. So right now you're working these. Kind of having your arms like this. Kind eh, eh. <laughs> of distracts you from the burning sensation that you feel inside your, your legs. And switch over to the other side. Feeling older. When you're feeling older. All right, guys. That concludes our low impact abs. Or wait, that includes our low impact back and legs workouts for the day. Don't forget, you can make it as hard as you want by continuing your reps. So stay tuned for beach beauty, nature connection exercises, and sand exfoliation.
to care for the land. Walking back from the Everyday Hero workout, part of being an Everyday Hero is actually leaving the place around you better than you found it. So I'm gonna grab my sarong, throw this garbage that you see all over the place, what the heck, into the sarong and take it to the garbage. Don't forget guys, Malava the Aina and make sure that everywhere you stamp is better than when you showed up.